No matter what instrument you play, there is one way that everyone tells you to use a metronome. What if I told you that that way wasn't the best way to practice and there are other things you can do with the metronome that may just be more effective? In this video, I'm gonna show you five different ways of effectively practicing with the metronome. Let's get into it. Method number one, play on the and counts. By this, I mean if the metronome is counting and it's going one, two, three, four, shift each count half a note forward so that instead of counting on the one, your metronome actually lands on the and. So it's one and two and three and four and. It tends to help you ingrain that sense of groove a little bit better. So here's me trying that out on the drum. Method number two, subdivisions. So most of us, if we wanna practice, we turn the metronome on and it just plays quarter notes and we just play along to that. But if you want to kind of get a better feel for things or try, encourage yourself to play different things, it's a good idea to actually activate subdivisions underneath those quarter note pulses. So an example, which I'm gonna show you here is there is a quarter note pulse. So one, two, three, four, but there are triplets subdivided in between those. So it's one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And then as I'm just improvising on the drum kit, that subdivided metronome sound is making me play certain things. So actually, Practicing with a metronome like this and putting those subdivided things on just encourages you and like pushes you to play things surrounded by that. And you can choose a whole bunch of different subdivisions. But here's an example using triplets. Before we get to the next methods, I just want to tell you guys about Drumio. We all know Drumio, biggest drum platform on the internet to learn drums. If you have ever wanted to try out Drumio, there is a link in the description of this video for a free 30 day trial. No strings attached, you try it out free for 30 days, see what it's all about. I highly recommend it, go check the link. Method number three, gap clicks. So here's the next method. Instead of just having your metronome do a pulse indefinitely, a gap click is where you randomize space so that it stops clicking. So for example, it will click for three bars and then on the fourth bar, the click disappears and it's your job to kind of keep time until that click comes back. This is a fantastic way of developing your internal sense of timing. So here it is on the drums. Method number four, odd times. 
I don't mean just play in odd times here, so don't go on the metronome and put it on 7-4 or 7-8. What I actually mean is keep your metronome at a solid 4-4 quarter note pulse, but then as you're playing the drums, as you hear that quarter note pulse, it's your job to play odd times over it. What this does is you're going to hear that quarter note pulse, but you're going to be playing something that's clashing with it, and this is going to help you with phrasing. So what happens with us drummers is when we learn how to play drums, we tend to sound quite square in what we play. By that I mean if you play a drum fill, it's going to be eighth notes or sixteenth notes or triplets, but it's going to sound very solid like this. Whereas when you start getting into phrasing, instead of playing kakadoom, bakaboom, ba 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 boom, crash as a full, one with the more unique phrasing would be like a da 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 which means that the phrasing is just a bit different. It doesn't sound as square. So a good way to practice this is to have this clashing thing where you have an odd time over a quarter note pulse. And then what I'm going to do here on the drums is I'll play to that quarter note pulse in 4-4. Four, four. I'll change to 7-4 and then I'll come back to 4-4 four, four every now and then. And it's my job to kind of catch the one of that 4-4. Four, four. And that gets you used to playing that unique phrasing. So here it goes. Method number five, super slow pulse. This next way of using the metronome is just so that you really lock in with your internal sense of timing. Instead of having a gap click like before, here is going to be constant. It's just going to be very slow. So there'll be lots of space between each click, and then it is your job to just keep time here. You'll see me playing this as an example, and as I was watching it, I realized, shucks, I'm, I'm rushing my drum fills, and it's only in kind of practicing this way and seeing how you do it, you can realize that you're rushing your drum fills. So this kind of helps you identify where your timing struggles are. So here's me playing to a really slow click.
So those are just five different ways of practicing. If you want actual things to practice, I have this cool video on chops that all the pro drummers are playing. Check it out.